Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Much Ado About Nothing and today we get to hear from Leonardo again in Act 5, Scene 1. Um, this scene started out with Leonardo and his brother Antonio talking and Leonardo saying that his grief is has turned into rage because his daughter Hero was not only jilted at the author at the altar but she was she was accused of being unclean, unfaithful, untrue, unvirginal, all these sorts of things, and he thought it was a lie. And they're going with the story that Hero died when Claudio was yelling at her, that kind of thing. So Leonardo was talking yesterday to Antonio, and he's like, you know, my grief is so so bad, so big, so huge, so all-consuming that it has turned into rage and I'm not gonna sit back and just take it anymore. And Antonio's like, well, you know, make sure that you're putting your anger in the right place. Like, Don Pedro and Claudio played a role in this and Leonardo's like, oh, I haven't forgotten. And Don Pedro and Claudio come in and they're, they're like in a hurry to get somewhere or find someone or something. So they're a little bit standoffish and a little bit dismissive towards Leonardo and Antonio until Leonardo like gets in their face and is like, you're gonna sit here and, and listen to me. And Claudio's like, who, who like bunched your panties? And Leonardo's like, you did. And Claudio's like, no, I didn't do anything to you. And Leonardo says, tush, tush, man, never fleer and jest at me. I speak not like a dotard, nor a fool, as under privilege of age to brag what I have done being young, or what would do were I not old. No, Claudio, to thy head thou hast so wronged my innocent child and me, that I am forced to lay my reverence by, and with gray hairs and bruise of many days do challenge thee, to trial of a man. I say thou hast belied mine innocent child. Thy slander hath gone through and through her heart, and she lies buried with her ancestors, oh, in a tomb where never scandal slept, save this of hers, framed by thy villainy. So he's, he's throwing down the gauntlet. He is challenging Claudio to a duel here. He's like, you said some really horrible things about my daughter and because of that, she's now dead and I challenge you to a duel to make up for that, to, to seek my revenge, all of that kind of thing. And Claudio's like, no, I'm not gonna do that. And, and there's a lot of back and forth and Don Pedro and Claudio are trying to just like go on about their way and they're refuting these charges and they're like, we didn't do anything wrong and blah, 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 all sorts of stuff. And Antonio joins in and he launches into this whole thing about how he loved his niece too. So he wants to fight Claudio and if Claudio has to fight him first and, and then he falls, so then Claudio can fight Leonardo. Like that's totally fine with Antonio because he wants to stand up for his niece and her honor and her life as well and all this sort of stuff. And Don Pedro is like, I'm not listening to any of this right now. I have other things to do. We're not listening to any of this. And Leonardo's like, well, then I'm gonna go find people who will listen to me. And he and Antonio leave, which is a good place to stop for today because the next monologue that we get to is in the next little section of these sort of French scenes where some people leave and some people go. But we're all still in act five of Much Ado About Nothing. And I believe after today, we have just four monologues left in this play before we're done with it. So it started out all happy and good and now it's gotten dark and weird and Hopefully we can get back to something happy by the end of the play, because it is considered a comedy. I don't know. How do you think it all resolves? Leave me a comment. Subscribe. Push the button. Ring the bell. All that kind of fun stuff. Tell your friends. They might enjoy this sort of thing, too. I don't know. Anyway, in any case, I will see you tomorrow for more. Mwah.